Hello, still in uh, Canto number 11 of uh, Orlando Furioso by uh, Ludvigo Aristo. Um, so we're, yeah, we're up to, up, up to stanza 74, where, yes, as I left it off, um, Orlando was getting, get, get, getting, they had gotten the Islanders pissed off for killing the monster because they basically, they, they worshipped uh, the monster and the various gods that, you know, had sent the monster on them. So they actually go after Orlando thinking like, oh, he doesn't have his helmet on. He doesn't have, I don't think he has his armor on. So they go after him and he easily decimates them. He kills 30 with a couple of, with a couple of strokes, if not more. Uh, at the same time, there's another tumult happening because the King of Ireland has attacked this island and, um, such is the surprise and such is the ferocity of the Irish that they're going to basically, it, it, as I think the word that, that um, Reynolds uses, uses in her translation is Holocaust, killing everyone, uh, regardless of age or gender. They're just butchering everyone, which is quite horrific, but seems to be, you know, one of these things that's accepted. And indeed, we find that the King of Ireland becomes, seems to become a protagonist in this story. Meanwhile, Orlando is like, oh, are you, who are you? Are, are you my, you know, are you my, uh, my, uh, Alber is it Albertina? God, I can't even remember her name now. But no, it's, Oli it's Olympia, which is like, but I left you with your husband, like safely married and all that. And she has to tell him the story that, oh, he dumped me on this island. And uh, then pirates came and got me and they sold me to the evil islanders here to get uh, eaten, get eaten by the orc the giant sea serpent that orlando has has killed and um she tells she tells him the story and then the irish king comes up and this and he relates the story to the irish king and we have this very long sequence where olympia apparently is looking pretty fine uh as this naked lady uh, we definitely are getting like the power of nudity here um, because it, this is really, we, we go on for, for a number of stanzas, but it starts off as in an April sky, the sun is seen parting the mystery curtains of the rain. So was Olympia's lovely face, wherein her eyes shine through those tears, which still remain. And as amid the tender leafy green, a songbird sweetly carols once again, so love his wings refreshing in her tears in beams of light to sun himself appears. So, we, you know, credit to Risto, we start out with her lovely face, but uh, we quickly, we quickly go on, you know, her hair, her eyes, her hair, her brow, but um, it's not only that, it's her cheeks, her mouth, shoulders, and hair, and, uh, you know, the observer's glance may with delight repose, but from her breast descending down to where a gown is wont to cover her, not at the moment, she shows a miracle of form, so exquisite, none in the world perhaps can equal it. And, you know, the perfect lily whiteness of her thing, skirt, smoother far than ivory to touch, like milky curds, but but freshly heaped within their plated molds, her rounded breasts and such, the gently curving space between which lies between, um, which calls to mind a valley twixt two hills, which winter with its snowy softness fills. And goes on this way it was like we're really enjoying her body her lovely hips the curving of her thighs her belly smooth as any looking glass which is like her ivory limbs are rounded in such wise that they might be the work of Fiadas, which is an athenian sculptor that i looked up um and those other parts which she tries to as a, she to conceal to which those other parts to which can she conceal she tries i will as it behooves in silence pass because i'm a classy poet content to say that she from top to toe embodies all of the beauty man can can know and indeed goes on to say um you know um you know helen was helen was the 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 um thing that paris went after but if paris had seen her it would have said would have would have probably said to the queen, "Remain with Menelaus, for no one do I desire, none other do I love, save this fair maid I am enamored of." Needless to say, yeah, the Irish king falls hard for uh, Olympia and vows to you know go after this her husband Bereno, which the, the 
the narrator of the poem makes the point to say, I do not think Bruno ever saw that lovely body naked, for if so, his cruelty had been, been against the law of nature. So it's like, wow, he must have not seen her naked or else he would have never dropped her. She's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, or maybe had a taste for young girls, um, which, <laughs> theme in literature. Um, but yes, so he's he's vowed... He's vowed to go and uh, take take her back to uh, is it Holland? Is is the yeah? You know it's like he yeah to Holland saying he will go with her to Holland saying he will never depart till he is ousted thence that usurper and with a dreadful vengeance made him smart and you know would basically use all the resources of Ireland to to make that happen and so they go off and they find her some clothing um, and one of those unworthy though it be Oberto. King of Ireland chose. And so we will pause there in the, the telling of, of uh, Orlando Furioso. We are actually with Orlando for a little while, but you know, we're just going to bop, bop out to somebody else's adventure um, pretty shortly here. But yeah, fun, fun stuff. <laughs> really enjoying that naked body. I, I think about this and I think about how um, Al Albert, oh, Albertina, whatever, was almost like sexually assaulted by Regurio, and it's like, yeah, it's the naked female body is like a powerful thing uh, from this very male perspective. Uh, it's like, it, like these, at least these two don't try and sexually assault her. They're, they, you know, one's falling in love with her. The other seems to be like, yeah, that's fine. I've got somebody to go after. Well, that didn't stop Regurio from saying like, oh, I'm going to take my prize by having you against your will because... That's just not a thing. Consent is not a thing at this point. Uh, or at least not with Regurio at this point. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.